One of my favorite things about the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses is that they can answer questions about the world around me and see what I'm seeing. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you 10 ways to use Meta AI in your daily life. So the first way to use Meta AI in your daily life, if you live in a city, you know how complicated the parking signs can get. These smart glasses can help simplify that. Hey Meta, look and tell me if I can park here. It is Thursday at 2 p.m. Yes, you can park here. The parking limit is two hours and it's not a restricted day or time. All right, we're good here, two hour limit. And by the way, I'm using a separate microphone to help capture the audio from the smart glasses in case you're wondering why or what I'm holding up to my ear. Number two, building identification. Being new to Charlotte, this has been very helpful. Hey Meta, look and tell me which building this is. This is the Two Wells Fargo Center. But it's not limited to just buildings. The third way to use Meta AI in your daily life is general object identification. Look and tell me what the name of the statue is. The statue is called the Firebird. Now I figured that statue was obscure enough that there was no way Meta AI would get it. I was wrong. These things are smart. Number four, these smart glasses can give you recommendations on where to eat nearby. What's the name of the pizza shop closest to me right now? The pizza shop closest to you is Pie in the Sky Pizza at 124 Brevard Court, Charlotte, North Carolina. Pie in the Sky Pizza. Honestly, these just make life a lot simpler. Me and my brother-in-law were about to walk over to the farmer's market. We weren't sure if it was open or not, but the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses saved us time. Hey Meta, is the Uptown Farmer's Market in Charlotte open? The Uptown Farmer's Market in Charlotte is not open today. The market is open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1230. 8 to 12.30. So the fifth way Meta AI can be used in your daily life is finding out hours of operation of local businesses. So to me, the greatest part about all that is how frictionless of an experience it is, especially when I'm out and about. Like sometimes I'm carrying bags or cameras and I don't really want to reach into my pocket, grab my phone, unlock it, open up a browser and search. So the sixth way that Meta AI can be used in your daily life is being able to just ask a question and getting a detailed and helpful response. How much is a ticket to the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte? The cost of tickets to the NASCAR Hall of Fame varies with general admission tickets starting at $162.50. Asking Meta AI to identify an object, place, or business, and then being able to ask specific questions about it now that's cool. So let's talk about the seventh way Meta AI can be used in your daily life. And this is one of my favorite ways to use the smart glasses, using them as a general research assistant. How can I explain a large language model to somebody as if they were five years old? A large language model is like a super smart computer friend that can talk and answer questions. And it gets smarter every time it learns new things. And what is an NPU, Neural Processing Unit? An NPU, Neural Processing Unit, is a dedicated processor or processing unit designed specifically for accelerating neural network operations and AI tasks. Now, having the smart glasses conduct research is cool, but the eighth way you can use Meta AI in your daily life is as a brainstorming partner. Hey Meta, my daughter's first birthday is coming up. Do you have any fun ideas for a name or a theme uh, for a one-year-old's birthday party? Here are some fun ideas for a one-year-old's birthday party theme. Jungle Adventure, Enchanted Garden, Alice in Wonderland, Carnival, Circus, or a color theme party with a bright and cheerful color scheme. Can you give me uh, some more ideas for the jungle-themed one, but try to use a pun of some sort? Here are some more ideas for a jungle-themed party with a pun. Monkeying around, Wild About One, Roar Some Birthday, Tropical Tot, or little lion's den. I know you're already impressed enough, but let's talk about the ninth way you can use Meta AI in your daily life, translation. Now, you can imagine how useful this is in certain cities or neighborhoods. And again, being able to do this without pulling out a phone and going through the process of unlocking it, finding the app or the browser, I mean, it's phenomenal. Look and tell me what language this sign is in and what it says in English. The sign is in German, and it says, no parking allowed. Vehicles parked illegally will be towed at a cost. And last but not least, the 10th way you can use Meta AI in your daily life is as a writing assistant. So I'm going to give a speech for my daughter's first birthday party. Help me think of like a fun intro for the parents that are going to be there for that speech. 
Here's a possible fun intro for your speech. Ladies and gentlemen, family, and friends, welcome to the wildest party of the year, our little one's first birthday bash. As we gather to celebrate this tiny but mighty human's first year of life, I'm excited to share some thoughts and memories with you. I gotta say, I make a lot of spelling and grammar mistakes. I mean, English is my second language, all right? So go easy on me. So. Meta AI has saved me a few times. So there you have it. Those are 10 ways you can use Meta AI in your daily life that I bet you didn't know about. Now, personally, I think this is the closest thing that we have to Jarvis. Having an always on super intelligent hands-free assistant, you can't beat that. And if you have any questions at all about Meta AI, drop those below and make sure to subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.